Okay, so here I am. It is May the 12th. One month ago, I put in a request to have my home time on this exact day. On May the 3rd, I sent a message to them reminding them that my home time is May 12th. I need to be home May 12th. I sent them another message on the 8th of May reminding them, hey guys, I need to be home May the 12th. That's when my home time is. That's what I've been approved for. I need to be home May the 12th. I am in Dallas, Texas. It's May the 12th and it is 9.57 a.m. So guess who's not going to be home May the 12th? And you know, <clears throat> this is one of the things that is is really bothersome from this company. I mean, pretty much everything else is, is okay besides the pay. The pay could always be better. You know, with this company, it's like your home time versus their them maximizing their their um profit you're gonna lose every time I mean I don't know why when I was in Kansas or any other place that was closer to Ohio they couldn't have had me stay there and just get me a load from there to Cleveland or maybe a load from there to Pennsylvania so I can then go to Ohio and I even mentioned to them that last time it took me two weeks to get home because it seems like they have difficulty finding loads going to Ohio So I mentioned that to them to, to make them aware that, hey, this might be a problem. You guys might need to get on this early so that I, I don't have to wait so that there is no issues when it comes to me being there on the time that I desire to be there because I even had appointments Scheduled for that day. I had to reschedule my appointments. I mean, let's forget the fact that it's my birthday because, you know, you know, I mean, if I was another person, a different person, that might be an issue, but it's not an issue for me. You know, what's an issue for me is that, you know, we have the Eid celebration coming on and that could have been the 12th uh, or the 13th, you know, and it seems like I'm going to miss that too as well. My kids promised them that I would be there. You know, we had a whole thing um, planned. Everybody's waiting on me. And I am here at this yard hundreds of miles away from my destination. Most likely I'll get there the 14th. And you know, the funny thing is when it comes to me getting back, they want me back as soon as possible as soon as that that uh those three days are over you got you better make sure you find your way back and making them money and the thing is that you know a happy driver is a good driver and also, I just remember that, you know, I've been on the road for over two months now without any home time. And the reason why that is, is because I wanted them to get this right. I wanted to make sure that they look out for me this time. 
you know, I, I forego the last home time, you know, because I wanted to um make some more money and also prep for this home time. I went my home time on May the 12th, planned it months in advance and told them about it. And here I am. So how am I supposed to feel now? What loyalty am I supposed to have for this company? When I just feel like I've been screwed. I'm here waiting for someone to swap out trailers with me. So I could get a trailer that's heading to Ohio. Call the person. He hasn't He hasn't responded. Now he was coming all the way from Laredo. You know, it was, it was supposed to be a seven hour or so uh, drive. He was supposed to, according to uh, the fleet manager, be here at 1 a.m. I figured that wasn't going to happen. You know, I came on time, though, to meet him. I think I was in Kansas. Came from Kansas. Came here on time. Drove straight. No stops. No bathroom break. Didn't need to use the bathroom. Used the bathroom before I started driving. And came all the way here. So yeah. You could say I, I'm perturbed. To say the least. If not angry. Disappointed. In a volatile state right now. But what can you do? That's all I got to say for now.